this is the third of five new games that are playing in front of the house. And we're going to be playing the Pepper Mickey Moon. Let's see how we do. On up for a late night edition of Family Feud. Welcome to Family Feud. I'm Lucky McCoy, your host. Let's meet the families who are taking on the feud. Standing alone today. And today, they'll be taking on the Cooper family. Our two families will compete head to head, trying to guess how the American population have answered our surveys. The family who does the best goes on to play fast money and has the chance to win $20,000. All right, let's get this show on the road. We're gonna start with the face-off. Can I have a person from each team join me over here? We have four to find on this one. I'm gonna ask you a question, and you need to buzz in first to answer. If you can find what's hiding behind the top slot, you get to choose if your family plays the round or gives it a pass. 100 people, we ask them the following. Name an occupation in which someone would have their hands insured. You're up first, what do you got? Answer accepted. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Doctor. We've reached the summit with this one. Well done. Pass or play? We are playing over here. What do you think? We need another answer. Okay, sure. Let's take a look. 
Model. Good going. Yes. Are you ready? I need an answer from you. Feeling lucky? Is it on the board? Musician. Ooh, we're so close to completion. Oh, yeah. Name an occupation in which someone would have their hands insured. Got it. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Athlete! You've cleared the board. It's a win over here. Here's how things are shaping up so far. We've still got plenty of game to go. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds, it's the face-off. Who wants to play? Get over here. The top five answers are on the board. Buzz in first to answer. Get ready. We asked 100 people the following. When going on vacation, what's the worst thing to forget to pack? You're up first. I see where you're going with this. Let's see if that's a good answer. Toiletries. That's worth the most points. You can play or pass and force the other family to play. I think you've got this one. Let's play. You can do it. What do you think? Oh. Interesting answer. Survey says... Clothes. Very nice. Yeah. Do you have an answer for us? That's a good answer. That's what you think, huh? Our survey said... Money. That'll do. Oh. When going on vacation, what's the worst thing to forget to pack? Yes. Our survey said medication. We're nearly there. Cool. What answer do you have for us this time? Good answer. That's good. And is that the answer we need? Camera. You found all the answers. You're racking up those rounds. Show me those scores. Don't feel so bad about a big fat zero. Look at it this way. If you end up with nothing, you don't have to pay any taxes on it. It's time for the face-off. I need two players down in front.
I want you to give me four answers to this one. Time to raise the stakes. We're doubling the points. In our survey, we asked 100 people, name an animal you think of being black and white. You're in first. What you got? That's what you're going with? Let's check the board. Zebra! We found the most popular answer. Now here's the million dollar question, play or pass? I hope you've got some more answers for us. We're playing. Time to search your mind for an answer. Understood. Is that answer good enough? Scum. Excellent job. Oh. Put on your thinking cap. It's time for an answer. Ah, yes. The survey says. Panda. The board is almost clear. Yeah. Name an animal you think of being black and white. Okay. Have you found the missing answer? Let's find out. Cow. No. Uh-oh, it's not there. Oh. And that means you've got yourself a strike. Okay. We need another answer from you. So... Yeah. Sure thing. Did our survey agree? Penguin. It's a clean sweep. This round goes to you. But you knew that, didn't you? Let's see who won this thing. We have a winner. You've done it all by yourself, too. Bye-bye, Coopers, you crazy cats. It's time to go for the big dough in Fast Money. Since you're the only one here, you'll be facing the questions twice. Okay. I'm going to ask you five survey questions in a limited time. Then I'll ask you the same questions again. If you can score 200 points altogether, you'll win the jackpot. Your time starts now. Name something you'd hate to be on when it breaks down. Uh, a roller coaster. Name a food that kids can prepare themselves. A uh, sandwich. Based on your shape, what fruit are you? Uh, I would say a banana. Name something that people pay extra to have tinted. Their windows. Name a slang word for a person's mouth. Uh, yeah. We're all questioned out. Okay, it's time to do it all again. Now it gets a bit tricky. You've got to do it all again with brand new answers. Okay, let's start the clock. Name something you'd hate to be on when it breaks down. Uh, Ferris wheel. Name a food that kids can prepare themselves. Uh, cereal. Based on your shape, what fruit are you? Um, an orange. Name something that people pay extra to have tinted. Uh, fingernails? Or, no, hair. Name a slang word for a person's mouth. Uh, trap. We're done.
We have all the answers. Now it all comes down to this. Let's see how well you did. I'm ready. For our first question, we asked, name something you'd hate to be on when it breaks down. So here's what you said. That's two strong answers right there. We've got points for both of those answers. You want to know the top answer? Yes. Plane. A plane, all right. For question two, we asked, Name a food that kids can prepare themselves. The answers you gave. Both of these answers are looking strong. A top answer. Cereal was number one. Question three. Based on your shape, what fruit are you? Here's what you said. You ought to be happy with those answers. We've got one good answer and one uh, Apple. less good answer. Wondering about that top answer? Apple. Pear. Pear, okay. For this question, we asked, name something that people pay extra to have tinted. You said, two impressive answers here. We found the number one. number one. And the final question, Name a slang word for a person's mouth. You answered, This is for all the marbles. Oh, got yeah. it. How do you like that? We've got ourselves a big. See you all for that next segment, everybody. You've just picked up 20,000 big ones. Way to go. We'll see you next time, folks, on The Feud. Good night. Want to give it another go?